Indeed. Yes. It's you! The Grey Warden! Andraste's mercy that you got here when you did. I these monsters were going to get me. They all fled to the castle this morning, before the Dark Swan arrived. I thought I could make it to my home and back before they got here, but it took me too long to get down here. What a relief you arrived. By now, yes, they'd have reached the castle walls. I'm going to get out of here before any more of those things arrive. Thank you again. It appears we will need to fight the entire blight ourselves. Well, all
Try to be masterful! <laughs> My lady, you're here. Thank goodness. Some did, yes, but we were able to close the gates and kill the ones in the courtyard. I was told to watch for your arrival, Warden. Your comrade Riordan arrived just ahead of the Darkspawn attack. He has urgent news for you. I should take you to the hall right away, my lady. They'll be waiting for you there. It's a relief to see you unharmed, and you as well, Alistair. Or should I say your majesty? Uh, no, no, I wouldn't say that. Not yet, anyway. The darkspawn that attacked Threadcliff were relatively few in number, I'm afraid. It was assumed the Horde was marching in this direction, but that is not true. Riordan tells us that the bulk of the Horde is in fact heading towards Denerim. They are perhaps two days away from the capital. What? Are we sure about that? I mean, if that's true... I ventured close enough to listen in, as it were. I am quite certain. There is, I'm afraid, one other piece of news that is of even greater concern. The Archdemon has shown itself. The dragon is at the head of the Horde. Make her preserve us. But we can't reach Denrim within two days, can we? It's too far. We must begin a forced march to the capital immediately with what we have. Denrim must be defended at all costs. Perhaps not. But it is not the Horde that must be defeated. It is the Archdemon. If we do not defeat the Archdemon, it will not matter if Denerim is saved or the Horde defeated. And only the Grey Wardens can defeat the Archdemon. That is why we must go. Perhaps not. But it is not the Horde that must be defeated. It is the Ar- Al Eamon, how long before the army can set out? By daybreak. Then let's get them ready. I won't let all those people die without giving them a chance. To reach the Archdemon, we need to break through the Horde. To do that, we need the army. I see no other way. I will give the orders at once, and will notify you the moment we are ready to march. That would be appreciated. Then if you and Alistair could meet me before you retire, we have Grey Warden business to discuss. I will have someone show you to your rooms. I suggest you all get some rest while you can. We will need it.
And what word have we from Orzammar? Has House Claret sent their men, or haven't they? They're stalling, which is as good as a no. House Claret's feud with House Romald has flared up again since their son died in that Deep Roads business. So naturally, they're pleading the need for self-defense. <laughs> Fine time to start with that nonsense again. I've half a mind to... Ah, evening to you, Grey Warden. I didn't realize you were still up and about. Nothing that can be dealt with now, I'm afraid. Just one of the houses being thicker than the stone that made them. Once all of this blight business is done, there will be a reckoning in the assembly. They're probably half hoping we'll all wind up dead. That way they'll have one of the strongest forces left in Orzammar. Enough to face the Darkspawn all on their own, I suppose? That's exactly the kind of half arse thinking that got us into the mess after Endrin passed. It was our good fortune that you decided to go to Orzammar when you did, Grey Warden. For all that a surfacer needed our help, I expect we needed yours more. Right. Off with both of you, and keep the drunkenness to a minimum. We have a long way to go yet. Pleasant evening to you, Grey Warden, and good fortune on the field of battle. Yes. As you wish. Something I can help with? Yes? What's on your mind? What you need? What about? What? Miss Orzammar? Are you mad, in addition to being ugly? <laughs> they treated me like a puddle fly back there. I'm never going back. All right. Aye, all right then. Your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along.